What's up, y'all? It's the heavy hitter DJ Mike Medium, and this week on the wrap up, we're talking about Fat Joe getting the key to the city. No diddy. YG unifying the hood, and finally, Lil Jon turns up the DNC. Let's get into it. Big news from the Bronx. Fat Joe just got the key to the city. <laughs> Tuesday night at the Up NYC concert at Orchard Beach, New York City Mayor Eric Adams took the stage to honor Joe with this major award. Mayor Adams said, Fat Joe, who's getting the key to the city of New York, all his legendary music, a real brother, authentic. We want to give you this key. A real brother, authentic. We want to give you this key to the city. Shout out my wife. Fat Joe had mentioned this honor earlier in his Instagram video saying it sparked some controversy. He noted, I don't know another guy who keeps it realer with the streets of New York than Fat Joe. Nice. He also defended the decision, pointing out his impact on the community and his philanthropy. This presentation comes after Mayor Adams took back the key to the city he had previously awarded to Diddy due to serious allegations against him. The Bronx, we fucking did it! Let's go! <laughs> Fat Joe's recognition is a big deal, and it shows how deep his roots run in the Bronx. Congrats to Fat Joe, he's officially got the key to the city. Now YG's back in the news. He just made big moves in his hometown of Compton. This past Sunday, YG led a peace walk to celebrate a truce between the Treetop Pyru and the Futon Pyru Gangs. <laughs> The event brought together some heavy hitters from Compton, including The Game and Wally the Sensei. The walk kicked off at Gonzalez's Park and saw gang members, locals, and kids joining in. YG documented the whole thing on social media, showing off their pride and unity with gang signs and all. They hit up Tam's Burgers for a meal together. Now that's how you celebrate solidarity. And get this, the peace walk happened to coincide with the release of YG's latest project, Just Read Up 3, which dropped on August 16th. This double disc mixtape features collabs with Ty Dolla Sign, Sweetie, Mustard, Lil Yachty, and more. It's been a big week for YG with a powerful community event and a hot new release. An alleged affiliate of the Sinaloa cartel has filed a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, 50 Cent is shook after coming across a headline involving Diddy. <laughs> so here's the tea. Alfonso P. Gonzalez, who claims to be a part of the Sinaloa drug cartel, tried to sue Diddy and Bad Boy Entertainment for a cool $666,000. Damn! Gonzalez said Diddy ruined his reputation with his drug business contacts in New York. But hold up, Judge Laura Taylor Swain shut down the lawsuit saying it had no legal standing. 50 Cent was left speechless posting on his Instagram with, okay, I have seen it all. What the F is going on here? Fans jumped in mentioning 50's past beef with Diddy and expressing confusion over the legality of the case. Judge Swain noted that Gonzalez's claims were baseless and tied to illegal activities which the law doesn't protect. She even denied him the chance to fix his case, saying the problems were too big to fix. Gonzalez had argued that Diddy's power caused him to lose his drug cartel connections, but the court found his accusations unfounded. Talk about a crazy turn of events. My lord. So this week at the Democratic National Convention, the roll call vote turned into a party. Thanks to Lil Jon. That's right, the rap legend dropped his hit, Turn Down For What, right in the middle of the convention floor. This year's roll call was all about the ceremonial side of things. They'd already confirmed Kamala Harris as the presidential nominee and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate earlier this month. With no form of business to handle, the Dems made it a celebration, complete with DJs, popular music, and special guests. 
Lil Jon came out for Georgia rapping as he moved through the delegation and state chairwoman rep Nakima Williams. His performance brought some extra energy to the usual routine of the roll call. Now, political conventions are known for being a little hokey, but that night was an exception. Just a fun reminder that even politics can have a little flair. And that's it for the wrap up. See you guys next week.